In this video, we focus on searching for data based on the data organization in Omero. Please make sure that you have seen the previous video on data organization. We have introduced the concept of tax and key value pairs in Omero. Tax and key value pairs can be added to images, to groups of images, to datasets or to projects. Tags are linked to users and groups. There are different ways of using tags and key value pairs, so we recommend that you use tags for the data organization across datasets and projects. This allows, for example, categorization, and it can substitute for deep folder hierarchies that you might be used to from classical file systems. Use key value pairs for metadata enrichment. As a side note, Advanced users should think about annotating tax and key value pairs on the basis of ontologies and ontology terms. We will go more into detail on this topic in the chapter on metadata curation. Tax and key value pairs are parts of the metadata in Omero, hence you find them in the right-hand panel in Omero web. We can use tax and key value pairs to filter for data. For example, use a specific filter of your choice and then choose a specific key if, for example, you have filtered for the key value pairs. This can also show you doublets or similar keys with different writing. Of course, you could also filter for file names or ratings. To make a specific search in Omero, use the search field at the upper right-hand corner. Enter your search query term here. You can search for data across users and groups, across projects and datasets. Once you have entered your search query, you will end up in the search window. Here you can refine your search query. For example, here, looking specifically for the two search terms DMSO control and phosphorerg, connected with the logical term AND. You can learn more about the syntax in Omero with the link at the bottom of the page. You can additionally and optionally restrict the search fields. For example, search for annotations and specifically for tags. As you can see, the search result list in the middle shows only the images that have both tags, phosphorerg and DMSO control, as shown in the right hand panel under tags. In another example, you can look for key value pairs instead of tags by choosing all annotations and not only tags. Now you could type in, for example, the search term CD4, and you will find those data where CD4 is part of the key value pairs or also of tags. As a side note, this already points to the usefulness of standardized terms by using ontologies. By using a standardized vocabulary, you can avoid duplications due to different spellings. You can also make use of tags directly under the Tags tab in the right-hand panel. Click on the Tags tab to see all the tags with which you have annotated data. Clicking on the tag allows you to dynamically re-represent the data tree based on your tag. So you see all the data with DMSO control in this example across the datasets and projects. Of course, you could also use additional filters here. Another useful function in Omero is the Omero tag search. This is available when the extension is installed. Here you can also combine different tags in a similar way as shown before by choosing the tags in the selected tags field. In this example, you would review all the images from controlled treated samples for the given staining target and even across repetitions if performed already. You can directly use the results of the tag-based search filtering, for example, to create a figure using the extension Omero figure, or alternatively, to have a quick preview using the split view function. In the split view function, this allows you to very quickly show results side by side and generate this to download as a PDF on your computer. The different search functionalities in Omero make the system very useful and user-friendly. So read more about the search syntax in Omero to become familiar with it.